First things first, way back when we did Tiger One on Trio, we never claimed a reward from this guy, so let's do it. Alright, thanks for that mate. Well here we go, hello Squire. Tell me everything about it please. No prayers, no range, no magic. It'll drain my stats. Okay, let's go. So we need to get him trapped, really. Is that going to work? Yes. I didn't move in time, that was rather silly. I'll change... That's actually the better positioning now. Alright, let's pop up a little bit. Whack him down. Well, that's the first one down. So let's trap the second one now if we can. There we go. Same order of business. Ooh. That was still damage, I think. The spear is really a good weapon for these guys. Because you can switch, they're also weak to different um, attack styles, slash, stab, or crush. And the spear can do all of them, and it can poison them with starting at 9, so. Works out pretty well for these waves. Fortunately, the first two are weak to slash anyway, so I can probably get a better better damage out of my scimitar, but spear's a good, good, good weapon to have for the whole thing. Oops, I stayed there a bit too long. A little bit more, then it's on to the next night, when Sepelius bites the dust. Ooh. He's getting a bit angry at the moment. I must be on a different tick cycle or something. There we go. Hello there, Sir Tristram. Ouch. That's not what we want either. This isn't going too well. The luring is bad. There, that should do the trick. And he's weak to stab, so we'll stab him down a little bit. And the Tristram's nearly done. Oh, we'll have to hit a one there, don't we? The spear is particularly useful at lower levels and with slightly less gear. Right, let's see if we can get this guy better this time. Will that work? No, I'm going too far over. I need to try again next time. Oh well, for the meantime, this guy's weak to crush, so... Let's whack him with the spear a little bit. That'll do us some good. Having a client which shows their hit points is very useful for this. This part here. Because when that disappears, we're safe to attack them. Without fear of repercussions. Alright, well, Sir Lucan's weak to crush again, so... We'll carry on. And there we go, Sir Lucan falls. And our next knight, Sir Gawain, is here to see what he can do. He's, he's weak to slash, though, so he shouldn't be too much trouble. Just do a bit of damage to him with this, get him poisoned. And we can use our D Sim and D Defender po combo. Very potent combo. And Sir Gawain's out of it as well. Excellent. Now we get on to the last two, and the toughest of all. Alright, that works out pretty well. I'll pot off both of these, as I've got the potions. So K is weak to crush. Crush. Well, that'll do, I guess. And so K is also about to fall. Time for the last and the worst, Sir Lancelot. He can hit pretty high. But now he won't hit me ever again, so it's fine. Just pot up quickly. And slash him down. If we hit him, of course. Just hitting is all we need, really. Getting poisoned, and then the D-Def and the D-Sim will do work for us. But he's pretty tough. Definitely a worthy foe in normal battle circumstances, certainly for the level you're meant to do this quest at. So. For max players, it's not. It's quite fun to fight them head on, I guess, but not really worth it for me to even try. And we're nearly there. There's a little bit more to go. All eight of the Knights of the Round Table will have met their maker. Due to the inability to walk around a combat dummy. There it is. Lots of experience. Lots and lots of experience. One defense level. Very nice. Oh, and a strength level. That's cool. I didn't think I'd get one of them. That's very nice, also. Happy with that. Well then. This, this um, spear has served us well, but... Fortunately, it's not a hell of a lot of use to us. 
know about these useless potions. It took me quite a while to get the herbs for those, but oh well. Thanks for watching. See you next episode.